The new core skin is finally available in Fortnite. We're going to be going over how you guys can unlock this skin as easy as possible, along with some other bonus rewards that you guys definitely missed out on. Now, we're going to be going over here in today's video, so trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned. This brand new avatar collaboration is honestly going to be massive. With an upcoming event that will be happening on the Fortnite island very, very soon, we're going to be going over here in today's video. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now if you want this to be your Fortnite account in exactly 75 days. And if you don't, this will be your account. So the choice is all yours. Do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have been picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop, do consider using my support creator code YTRRay as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. The new Korra skin is finally available at Fortnite. It's obviously her brand new skin was obviously inside of the battle pass. And obviously, we had to wait a little bit of time before we could unlock her. She has brought along her very own mythic item, being in the form of the brand new water bending ability, which we did see in the season trailer, which I have to say looks like a pretty fun item. Here's more gameplay of what this item is going to be like in game. And it looks like this is only going to be the start of the brand new mythic items we're going to get as a part of this event. We honestly have so much. Obviously, all of the challenges are now live which we're going to be going over right now. Very first reward actually being this brand new loading screen, which you can obviously see is just called Korra. And I have to say, I do like the design of this and all you need to do to actually get this is emerge from water. So what I would do is literally just jump out of the battle bus and land directly into water, wherever you can find it. And then jump out of it on land and automatically you will get this brand new loading screen. That's pretty easy and you will need to complete all of the other challenges before you actually will be able to unlock the Korra skin. You can see for the next reward we do obviously have the Avatar's Descent Contrail, which I have to say definitely looks pretty cool. You can see a bit of fire, a bit of water, earth and also some air. To get this brand new Contrail, you will need to collect 10 different mythic items, obviously being the Zeus's Lightning Bolt any of the mythic items that you can get from all of the different bosses across the Fortnite island and obviously Korra's mythic water bending ability. It's easy enough you should get that done just by playing the game regularly roughly in about two to three games. And for the next reward we do have a spray which let's be honest nobody really cares about but to get this you actually need to deal damage to players before the second storm circle. You definitely want to make sure you're playing quite aggressively if you want to get your hands on this actual spray itself. For the very next reward, we do have the Water Tribe Colors, which I have to say definitely looks pretty cool, as it's obviously this kind of cell-shaded weapon wrap. All you need to do is mantle, hurdle, or slide during the day 10 times, which is super easy. You should get this done in just a few minutes. And then we do have the Water Benders Battle Fans, which is obviously the brand new Korra Harvesting Tool, which I have to say I'm a big fan of. To get this, you will need to hit the same player with a mythic item and also a non-mythic item 10 different times as well. Best bet would be to do this in Team Rumble as you can easily get mythic items there, obviously being Zeus's Lightning Bolt and also the brand new Water Bending ability, which also will be available. And just finish off that player with a non-mythic item, which is super easy. You should get that done in just a few seconds as well. By doing that, you will automatically unlock the Korra skin itself by completing all of the other quests, which is going to be super easy. We do also have a page two set of rewards as well, which obviously will unlock you this brand new edit style, which I have to say I'm a big fan of, definitely will be the one I'll be using. This very next reward actually being another loading screen called the Balanced Core, which I also really do like the design of this loading screen, definitely pretty cool. To get this, you will need to eliminate an opponent while below 50 health, which is definitely going to be super easy to do in Team Rumble, so I definitely would recommend you give that a go. You should have no problem eliminating other players while you are below 50 health, as you can easily just give yourself some fall damage. Be sure to be on the lookout for that, but we do also have the next reward as well, which is the Korra Reacts Emoticon, which let's be honest, I don't think anybody's actually going to be using this, but you actually do need to get this to get the brand new edit style. Now all you have to do is actually collect or spend gold bars, which should be easy enough if any of you guys have obviously been saving up all of your gold bars that would just spend it all on a vending machine. If you are running low on bars, literally just try and put as many bounties as you can in the middle of a game, as you will honestly get this done super easily. Be sure you're preparing for that challenge as obviously a few people could be stuck on it. But for the next reward, probably one of my favorites actually being the Avatar Cycle, which you can obviously see all of the different elements on this. Get this, you will need to travel distance while on the train, which could be definitely pretty difficult with everybody landing on the train to get this challenge done as well. Sure, you could easily get this done in Team Rumble if you do play it out smart, as it's honestly pretty easy to follow the train around in Team Rumble. Definitely will be more difficult to do if you're just playing a regular solos, duos, or even a squad 
match. Definitely would recommend you do this in Team Rumble as it will be so much easier. For the next challenge we do have is actually going to be to hire characters or revive different squad mates. You will need to do this 10 times which will actually unlock you a brand new reward. Which is going to be Core's Air Glider which obviously you can see on the menu itself definitely does look like a pretty cool glider to use in game. I personally do hope that we can actually lie down on this glider like the way they do obviously do it in the show and not just hang off it like all of the previous gliders that we have in the game. Challenge shouldn't take you too long I definitely would be sure you're getting that done as soon as possible. For the final challenge, probably is going to be one of the most difficult for some players, as you will need to actually earn or pick up a victory crown. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I do see somebody with a victory crown on them in a game, I normally try to avoid them. I definitely would try and squad up with some pretty good teammates and see if you can get yourself a win to get your very own victory crown and get this challenge done as easy as possible. It looks like we will also have to do this 10 times, which definitely will take a bit of time before we will be able to unlock the final edit style. Obviously being the balanced version of Korra, which I definitely do think looks pretty sick. I can't wait to get this version of the skin on my account. You can be sure to let me know down in the comments, as we do know that we're also going to be seeing a brand new event happen very, very soon with an iceberg showing up across the Fortnite island. Inside this iceberg, we will actually see the arrival of Appa and Aang, who are obviously going to be a part of the brand new event pass that we will be getting here in Chapter 5 Season 2. We do know Aang will be obtainable instantly if you do purchase the premium track for 1000 V-Bucks. And Appa will also be coming to the game as well in the form of a brand new free reward that you will instantly be able to get as well by completing all six of the book challenges that we will be getting for this event. This was accidentally leaked last season on the Shredder Pass as some of the text ended up showing up completely wrong. Obviously, we did need to complete some challenges to actually get the Krang backling back in that season and the same thing will be happening for this Avatar Pass. By completing all of the challenges, you will actually get the brand new Appa Glider. I definitely do think looks pretty cool as he's obviously some sort of flying bison character. We're also going to be seeing the arrival of all brand new mythic items as well, just like with the Shredder Pass when we did have all of the Mutant Ninja Turtle to, uh, mythic items. This time around, obviously having the arrival of Korra's brand new water bending ability which will be making its way into the game tomorrow. Also we'll be getting the arrival of a brand new earth bending, fire bending and also an air bending ability which obviously will fit all of the brand new characters who will be arriving in the game for this collaboration as we do now Aang is going to be one of them. Most likely we'll be seeing some other characters as well potentially even Ozai because I believe he is actually the main villain of those avatar shows. Be sure to keep your eye out on that as obviously that brand new event pass will be arriving in the game with the brand new four an update being the 29.20 it will be available until the very end of the season so be sure to keep your eye out on that unfortunately guys that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video and if you did watch all the way to the very end of it be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your epic games id if you're not already do consider using my support creator code white to your array inside of the fortnite item shop hashtag god and if you did enjoy the video do drop a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and thanks for watching